All right. Hey, let's talk a little bit about low fruits today. Low fruits is one of my favorite tools for, for finding long tail keywords. And of course, it's uh, Black Friday and low fruits has a really great deal right now. Uh, if you want to uh, be able to maximize uh, the tool for the lowest amount of cost and find as many keywords as you need to create your blog posts. So if you already know about Low Fruits, you've seen some of my other videos and you're just interested in what's going on with the Black Friday sale, uh, let's go ahead and take a look and see what that is. So in the interest of full disclosure, I am a Low Fruits affiliate. Uh, if you make a purchase from my link in the video, I am going to make a commission. Uh, but you know, I own Low Fruits, I pay for it myself, I use it, I really like it a lot. It's my favorite long tail uh, keyword tool for finding long tail keywords. So, so here, here we go. Um, again, like I mentioned, links in the video description, uh, promotion dates for uh, this uh, Low Fruits Black Friday sale. It starts on Monday, November 20th, goes through the 28th at midnight Pacific Standard Time. So here's the way it works. So for pay-as-you-go credits, these are the credits that you pay for and just use up and then you buy some more. That, those are pay-as-you-go credits. Those are 40% off during this time. It's a really good deal. And then I didn't put staggering. This is what Low Fruits told me. It's a staggering 50% off the first year of our yearly subscriptions. And that really is a good deal. Uh, I don't know if I'd describe it as staggering, but 50% off is always nice. And the one thing that I want to note is the monthly subscriptions aren't part of the Black Friday deal. When you go to my video description, make sure you copy Black Friday 2023 and use that in the coupon code uh, section for uh, when you purchase your yearly subscription. Uh, there is no need to use a coupon code on the pay-as-you-go credits. So that's the sale, and if you already have low fruits, uh, just go ahead and go in the video description, follow the link, and, and, and go save some money. Now, if you've never seen low fruits before, uh, it's just a great way to find long tail keywords. So I'm going to go to my dashboard here, and we'll go ahead and go to Keyword Finder. Uh, again, I want to point you to my other videos as well. I have plenty of other videos on low fruits that would be helpful. So this is just a quick overview. If you've never seen the tool before, uh, I'm not going to go into every nuance of the tool. I'm going to show you the typical workflow that you're going to find yourself in most of the time. So you'd go to your keyword finder, and this is where you'd put your seed keyword in. So in this case, I'm going to choose a seed keyword. Let's go with something like uh, barbecue grilling. There's plenty of blogs on barbecue grilling. <laughs> I'm just going to use that seed keyword that came to mind here. I always go to the advanced options. Uh, if you do, you can put in words to include or exclude if you want to. Um, typically, the default setting would be the max domain authority would be 20. So really what that this is about is you, you just don't want to find yourself competing against uh, sites that are like domain authority 80 or 90, right? You're, you're trying to find other sites that are new sites like you are, and then you're trying to uh, see if you can pick off their position in the SERP in the search engine ranking page uh, by virtue of what we find when we do this search. So let's go ahead and find some keywords. All right, so it's done finding the keywords for barbecue grilling for that base, base uh, keyword that we put in, the seed keyword. And so there's a couple ways that you can go here if you want to analyze all the high intent keywords at once, you can just say, yep, I want to do that, but it'll use 388 credits. Um, 
but let's just access the keywords first. I think this is a better way to do it because typically you're gonna go in, you're gonna analyze uh, keywords. And a lot of times new blogs will try to answer questions. Uh, so let's just filter this by questions and only show questions about barbecue grilling. So that's when you would go through and you would make some decisions about uh, what you want to have analyzed. So in this case, uh, let's pick let's pick 25 to get analyzed here and see what we get back. Okay, I picked a variety of keywords here. So once you've done that, I picked 21. You are going to go ahead and uh, select SERP extract. So we're going to do that. So it's now analyzing all of the keywords that we picked and it's gonna look for weak spots. So what we're looking for is anything that comes up in green. Uh, that would mean there's a weak spot there. We might be able to write an article and jump in and uh, compete. Now, this is a very competitive niche. It probably wasn't the greatest seed keyword to, to choose, uh, but I went ahead and picked it anyway. So here's one, how to keep barbecue grill from rusting. So it has 170 search volume. Now note that in position seven, there's a DA20 website. And in position 10, there's a DA16. So there's two low DA sites that are in the top 10 for how to keep a barbecue grill from rusting. So that's an opportunity that would be a keyword that I would write an article about. What's the difference between barbecue and grilling? Here's one. It's in uh, the ninth position for this, and it's a DA5 site. So it's a really new site. That's an opportunity, and I would write an article for this. When to put on barbecue sauce when grilling. We have in position 8 a DA18 site, so that would be a site that we, or a, a long tail keyword we'd want to try to write a, try and write a blog post for. And here, here's a perfect one. We have a DA0, brand new site, and it's a position six. It's, it's, it's number six, you know, for how to grill great, how to grill steak tips on a gas grill. And it's got pretty good search volume, 140. Now, these search volume numbers, um, you know, they're not always completely accurate, but this is a good indication and a great opportunity uh, to write, write a blog post and break into the top 10. Because if this DA0 uh, site can do it and get in position number six, then you have an opportunity as well as a brand new blog. Now, here's some other things to think about. Some of these queries are underserved queries. So, uh, so there's no pages, no page titles from the top 10 search results that match this exact query, how to get rust off barbecue grill, or how to keep grill from flaming up. You know, some of these are slightly underserved. For example, in position 10, you have a DA7 site that's written about our barbecue grill mat safe to use. So my point is that, that Low Fruits is really good at uh, helping you find these uh, underserved keywords or keywords that people are writing for that have low DA sites and that you can compete with. Black Friday sale, it starts Monday, November 20th through the 28th. 40% off pay as you go, 50% off uh, the first year of a yearly subscription. And all this information is in, in the video description. So again, full transparency, I am an affiliate of Low Fruits. I have my own subscription and uh, use the tool quite frequently. So if this video has been helpful, please give it a like. And uh, if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, please do that as well. And until next time, take care.